in innovation is something that PowerLink is passionate about. We are genuine about becoming world class. We want to provide Queenslanders with a world class energy future. That's our, that's our motto. Innovation is the way to get there. For me, it's just about continually trying to find ways to be better. So teamwork, challenging the status quo, always continuing to look at doing things differently and better, more efficient. The partnership between PowerLink and Infrusion has been a great example of how we can leverage technology and, and a mindset and an approach to get big things done. Uh, the Kidston Hydro project's a, a fantastic uh, project out at the Kidston uh, old gold mine. It's basically a, a pump storage battery, a water battery. It will generate power and service the local community all the way out to uh, Townsville and beyond. So at peak generation it will be 250 megawatts and the operation runs for uh, six hours at peak uh, operation and then it dovetails either side for a, an overall eight hour generation period. What makes this project really unique is that it's the first uh, hydro project in Queensland for over 40 years. And being a pump storage hydro project located out at Kidston, it's, it's reusing the old Kidston gold mine. So that's reusing an area that you know, would normally be defunct, turning into something that's um, beneficial for the, for the region and, and the, the greater state. To allow our power to be connected back to the coastal network, we've got this 185 kilometre um, transmission line. So for Queensland, you know, um, part of the Queensland Energy and Jobs Plan, it's really about pursuing, you know, renewable energy targets, 50% 2030, 80% 2035. Uh, the transmission build across Queensland is a really important part of meeting some of those decarbonisation targets. So our main role of PowerLink for the GenX Pumped Hydro project is to construct a 275 kV, 185 kilometre transmission line. It's a single circuit transmission line going from the back of Vingham, a place called Mount Fox. Our substation is called Guyville Muan, all the way down to the Kidston end of the project and then uh, we then connect into the uh, GenX Pumped Hydro side of the project. I was very keen and focused on looking at drain stringing for this project, specifically for, I'm very big on um, safety. The main risk is obviously, you know, potentially if we were to use a helicopter to do our stringing activities, you know, some, you know, someone has to drive and fly that helicopter, which is a human. What it also provides for the project, it minimises the clearing footprints from our environmental impact perspective that we uh, have to commit to on the project so we don't have to clear the corridor as wide as what we normally would if we had to use the helicopter and normal draw wire activities. Beneficial from a social licence op to operate perspective as well because obviously we're minimising you know those impacts and those noise, the noise to you know what the landholders have to go through as well when we're using the chopper up in the up in the air to do those stringing activities so it's obviously good for their cattle, it's good for you know the the day-to-day -day noise restrictions as well while we're in the, the region and the community doing those stringing activities. The first 10 towers that we've recently done is the stringing. Uh, big key was to try and do that through the R&R &R breaks while the main contractor was on their main, main break, which was a nine-day swing. It was a perfect opportunity for, to get InfraVision in during that time while the main contractor wasn't on site which obviously helps with our uh, compression of the scheduling because obviously while InfraVision are doing that stringing on the R&R &R break, so the draw wire is up in the air, the con contractor can come back to site, um, which is obviously utilising um, sufficient time savings as well. I think as we, as we scale up this technology, it's been our goal to deliver on our promises and, and deliver real world results with this technology. Uh, there was no point in keeping it locked up in the workshop. So on the Gen X project, we've let this out at scale and we've proven we can deliver it up to 16 phase kilometers a day, which has enabled a brand new, scalable, faster, safer approach to transmission construction than ever before. So success for me is basically delivering on what we agreed was, was, was the objective. Um, the team committed to, they were going to be able to deliver um, the stringing outcome in a safe and cost-effective manner, they've achieved that. Um, and also the potential uh, scheduled compression benefits were conservative initially. We've actually exceeded um, those targets as well, which I think provide us the greatest value going forward is the ability to actually compress schedules whereby we're up against it in every step of the path. The Queensland Energy and Jobs Plan and the Supergroup Blueprint 
sets up a really ambitious program of transmission line build and investment over the next 10 years. More than 2,000 kilometres of line to be built across Queensland. So, you know, it's been a real focus for PowerLink to look for ways that we can deliver that really productively and safely and make sure we minimise the impacts on community and environment. And, and our work with Infravision on that front's been really important in terms of drone stringing. In 12 months, what we have done is amazing. We've got to be so proud of what we've done. This is the way of the future to deliver for all upcoming QEJP, um, Queensland Energy Jobs Plans projects for, for PowerLink moving forward. We've got within the next 10 years close to 2,000 kilometres um, that we need to build out um, at 500 kV and, and lower voltages as well. So the scale is immense. Uh, we, we needed options. Uh, we needed the ability to, uh, I guess, have scalability within the methods. Implementing what is available outside and, and working and partnering with companies that have that uh, innovative mindset and understand what our challenges are and they can actually provide those solutions and support us to work in the background to um, build and develop and create the solutions to our challenges and hopefully into the future we're going to have some of these major challenges that we have in front of us with solutions that currently don't exist um, which is um, yeah it's, it's exciting. We've got to do these things to, 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 to get world first and to trial new things and push technology forward. Um, it's been fantastic to be part of it. So happy um, with the team and, and, and the, the effort and performance that gone into delivering what we see here today. So absolutely amazing. You know, I commend PowerLink for, for looking at alternate ways to do things um, safer and faster. I mean, it's the way of the world. You know, what, what, I, what I'm really enjoying about the, the hydro project is the way that everyone's um, uh, working together for a common outcome. And I suppose that common outcome is the successful operation of the, of the hydro project. What does that look like? For me, it's not just generating power for, um, for, the, for, the, for the state. It's, it's also setting a benchmark and saying, we can do this and we've got more hydro projects in the, in the market and yes, we can deliver them safely, on time, on budget. <laughs>